Hi, I'm Jeff McDaniel from FastFit Boot Camps at JeffMcDanielTraining.com, and today I'm going to show you our official five-minute dynamic warm-up that we use with all of our members before every workout. It's five animal-based movements. You can use this routine two different ways. One as a pre-workout routine uh, to get mobility and activation and kind of improve performance for the workout or as an active recovery workout on your in-between days to help mitigate soreness, speed up recovery from high intensity workouts, and also to improve your performance for the next workout. Five animal movements that really get the shoulders and hips going. Let's start with the very first one. We'll do these for a minute each. First one being the inchworm. I want you to take a nice wide stance here. We're gonna start off by bending at the hips. Hinge at the hips, go as wide as you need to to get this flat position. If you're extremely tight, you may want to hang out right here and just work that spot for the whole minute. Otherwise, we're walking out into this push-up hold into a nice tight core position and then walk it back up. So my progressions are to bring the feet closer and closer together, depending upon how flexible you are with your hamstrings, or to reach out and do an extended push-up hold here, which is going to make you engage your abs and train your lower uh, abdominal region, strengthen your core, plus we're getting a lot of good shoulder work in. Let's do one more and relax. Now, next one up is the spider, the spider lunge. Let's take a standing position here. I'm going to go down and I want to begin first by dropping the hips. Weight on the heel, you can go wider with this foot if you need to. Also, if you need to start off on your knees, you can do so. Or straighten out that back leg. Get the hips as low as you can. Hip flexor, hamstring, and the glutes are all being utilized right now. I can just switch sides here, push through it. Again, hamstrings, hip flexor. Now I can make this a little bit more whole body by integrating an overhead reach with rotation. On each side, reach, rotate. So now I'm getting, again, shoulders, hips, core. Keep the back leg straight if you can, but if possible, stay in that position. But if you need to, go to your uh, knees, I should say. Right there, last one. Reach, rotate under, and stand. Next animal is the frog squat. We're going to start by bending at the hips again. I want to slide it down, touch the toes, and pull myself down into this frog squat, chest out right here, and then back up into that hip hinge pattern here. So level one, all I'm going to do is go from a squat to a stand, and level two, we'll shift the hip side to side here. Level two, I'm going to add extension at the top, right here, finally level three, extension with rotation, you can do this for about 60 seconds, one more, and stand. Next animal is the monkey lunge, feet about double shoulder width apart, push back with the hips, right here, and I'm going to walk it over. Side to side. I'm trying to get my hips as low as I can while also keeping my chest out and eyes up. Again, you can make sure you're sitting back. This weight needs to be on your heel. Uh, keep that trail leg nice and straight. We're just greasing the groove, man. If you have tight hips, it's hard to function and perform well during your workouts. This is awesome. It's kind of a fluid yoga situation here. Let's hold that. Let's do one more time on each side. Walk the hands out. Stretch that out. Back and reach on each side. And relax. Last one. Let's come down into a cobra position. I want to get a lot of hip extension without a lot of excessive low back extension, okay? So squeeze the glutes, pull the shoulders down and back. From here, I'm going to go up into a pike position, pushing the hips up and back. And then 
back into that cobra position here. Tight glutes at the bottom. Pike it up. If I'm really tight, I can stretch each calf individually. And then back down to that cobra position. Shoulders down and back, glutes squeezed. Let's do one more. Pike. And relax. And that is your five minute dynamic warm up. Get fast fit. Thank you.